started this because we've been in the business of franchise finance for 11 years. And about four years ago, Ed and his team had a great idea to set up this forum to bring together restaurant and the hotel community in Canada, in North America, to allow networking and sharing of ideas. But more importantly for us, it was an opportunity to give back. There are a couple of macroeconomic factors that are, are changing the way that consumers behave. The first is the lingering effects of the 2008 recession that was, was kicked off by the collapse of the Lehman Brothers. The second is the pervasiveness of technology coming up from the bottom. So consumers need to make their money go further and they have the ability to scrutinize everything that they spend their money on. This isn't the world, this is within Canada. And again, you can look at where it's resonating. You have to throw out the rule book. You have to start over again, ground up. This is one of my favorite conferences of the year. We have all the industry leaders that are joining us, collaborating on great ideas, and then the energy is uh, the best it's been in years. I think it's quite unique in a lot of ways. Uh, there isn't quite the, the same type of conference out there these days, and so this is one that I really look forward to. The presentation today talked about innovation in food, talked about where the demographics are headed and we use that information from our planning perspective and that's our key takeaways. Again, we're learning information here that simply we don't learn anywhere else. We're dealing with a much different consumer today than we were dealing with you know, five years ago. Dramatically different than the consumer 10 years ago and unrecognizable from the consumer 15 years ago. It's become a battle for market share. Your largest customer segment is going to be the Generation X population. So this is that 35 to 44 year old age group. They're going to represent over 16% of your traffic in 2016. They're over index for traffic casual dining. The Millennials represent a real key opportunity in today's market as well as moving forward. Clearly, macroeconomic trends in the economy kind of drive opportunity. So you're seeing a lot of growth in Alberta, Saskatchewan, Manitoba, and the eastern markets. Branding is you know, average across Canada, 60% uh, branded. Quebec is much lower, and there are certain segments that are really just not represented, you know, whether it be the premium casual space, etc. The key to our success has been every three years or so stepping back and taking the business apart again, looking at what's going on in the external world around us, whether it's economic or competitive, and then looking at the business itself, its strengths and what you can bring to bear in terms of the opportunities, and being just very deliberate about continuing to change in a structured way. You need to make the commitment. If you think you're going to take your Ontario unit or Vancouver unit, plop it in to Quebec and have them call out West for guidance, it, you won't work, you won't be successful. If you can step back and in a disciplined way, think about what really are the, the, the tides that are running rather than the waves in, in the business, then I think you can be deliberate about making the changes, making the, the necessary resource allocation to be successful. Collectively, this group sitting here represents almost 10% of all the dollars spent in the Canadian food service market. And I really appreciate your time today. I hope everyone found this uh, informative. You always have to be very mindful of the competitive landscape, but you have to be true to who you are and you can't grow to satisfy anybody else. You want to make sure that you're doing it right. You want to grow for the future. You also want to grow for today. What G brings is its expertise, its passion, and its energy and knowledge of the restaurant business in Canada to help our franchisees structure the best financial products to fuel their growth and the growth of Boston Pizza. One of the things that I really appreciate about the GE Group is that they, they understand the restaurant industry because they understand my business very intimately and it's nice to talk to a bank that understands your business. We too are a business that continues to evolve. We've been around for a long time. We're not just bankers, we're builders.